Hello and welcome to my Young Potter's pottery tutorial. Today we will be making a giraffe. It is on a pinch pot, of course. And I thought I'd also show you some examples because this is what um, this activity is, you know, ideas for children. This is what some of my children have made. So you can see it's possible, <laughs> in case you thought it wasn't. Okay, so to start, we're going to make a pinch pot. So we're going to take a piece of clay and roll it into a ball. Once we've got our round ball, stick your thumb in and pinch all around, making your pinch pot. You can see. This is going to be the base for it to stand on. Clay can be quite fragile when you're working with it, when you're trying to make thin legs and everything, which is the reason I have this base for it. Okay, so now we've got the base, now we're going to start on our giraffe. As you can see, we're just going to roll a sausage. So, take a piece of clay and roll a sausage. Forward, back, forward, back. Roll a coil. Okay, once you've got a good thickness, about a bit thicker than your finger, I would say. Okay, once you've got your sausage, you're going to drape it over for the legs. You're going to measure it, it's going to go about there. And to stick the clay to clay, you're going to scratch, water, scratch. So, there. This is to make sure that the clay is nicely stuck. Water. Okay. And then I like to use my little cocktail stick to smooth it. Together. So we're going to add all the sausages in the same method to stick them down. You see what I'm doing? My clay is very soft, as usual. Okay, so that's a front leg, back leg, same again. Scratching. To make it rough. Back. Oh. Sometimes it's easier just to use your fingers. Okay, 
These pieces, these giraffes here, are made by five-year-olds, but they are very clever five-year-olds that have been doing pottery with me for a year. So they are experts at making a pinch pot. If you've got beginners and they're so little, you're probably going to have to make the pinch pot for them or very strong supervision because it takes a while for them. Oh, okay, then for the body, also just I just broke a little piece of sausage and put it in the middle. Okay, now we're doing our neck. Guess what? It's a sausage. Hmm, using the wrong side. And Then just the head. Just take a small piece of the sausage, make it a little bit thinner, and stick it on. Now, giraffes have horns. Just take a little piece of clay. Little sausage. And there are the horns. And the ears. The ears are just I make little little even balls that are the same. In my finger. So it's just a little ball. And then I flatten it. So, a little ball, and you just flatten it, and you've got like a flat disc thing, and it's cute ears for them. You can see I stopped doing scratch water scratch because the clay is so soft. I'm just making mud when I do it. If the clay is a bit harder, very necessary. So I've showed you the method. You know what to do. Okay, eyes. Uh, there, I think. I'm doing this back to front so it's a little bit. I think that's alright. Yeah. And I'm just gonna make the nose a little bit less. Okay, now we're just gonna give him a tail. Take a piece of clay. Just a little sausage. And at the end, give him a little piece of oh, yeah. the paintbrushy tail part. Okay, and then I'm going to draw lines on this so you can looks like tassels and that's it now we're ready to paint I use yellow and orange I'm gonna paint with color slip now oh I'm not even in the camera yellow and orange so first the yellow oh, and then the base is gonna be blue First the yellow.
And here we have a bit of a messy one. And here we have our giraffe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.